us. Huh? All heads realize. Recognize. Real heads on the ride. Recognize. 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 All heads realize. You see? Do something yo, now, that, man. see, that, that's, that's some fucking real marketing shit, yo. Yeah, I mean, real life, you gotta be one on one with the with the people out there. Like a lot of a lot of people just want you to just just buy my shit and just get out of my face. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? like yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I I seen a couple of uh, uh, artists treat treat uh, fans. Yeah, I've I've, I've 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 been I've I've witnessed it. Yeah. You know, I don't want to I don't want you know shout shout them out. I tell you, things I guess behind the scene, but I've seen I seen uh, uh, artists. Me and my homie, and we was like, well, my my boy was like, yo. I really love your, your, the album that was out at the time. Son just like looked at him and was like, so? And walked off. Wow. He was like, you know, obviously, you know, it, it was. That's it was like Sean Price. Was it Sean Price? Nah, 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 nah. You crazy, you <laughs> son. You crazy. That's my, that's my dude. Sean Price is one of the realest cats in this motherfucking whole game, man. Yo, he world, is one man. of the. And he, and, like and, see, but people, you know what people don't realize about Sean Price? They think that shit is a game. Yeah, that, that's, that's that's really him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's him in the flesh. That is it, that's flesh. really him, man. He's short of full deck, and that's that's what you see yeah, is what you that's get. That's what you man. see is what you get, man. And and it's and it's dope though, cause he's he's definitely one of like I've always like you know we I had uh, Rock on the, the the show one of the other shows, and I asked him, you know, do you ever feel like yo people you know ever who's better type shit? You know what I'm saying? So his answer to me was. He's better than him on Mondays and Tuesdays. <laughs> he's uh, Sean P's better than him on Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's then a dope answer. He's be That's a Sean dope P answer. is better than him. And they they split the weekend. And on Sunday, he said he said on Sunday they just chill. That's a dope answer. <laughs> That's a dope answer. The <laughs> so word man, when he said that shit, I was like, yo, man, you know, them two themselves, like it, yeah. it's a reason why they they fit together as well as as. As the whole help the skelter movement, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to them. Yeah, definitely. Right yeah. eyes. So, <laughs> oh, so, we actually about to start working on a new boot camp album. Too. Oh, word, a new boot camp joint? Yes, word, yes, word, yes. Word. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's in the works. So that's that's about to go down. This summer's gonna be something nice. Yeah. But no, man, listen, that's it. For, for for me to sit here and be talking with y'all and knowing that, you know what I'm saying, y'all got this project moving and, and, and 2014 is looking bright, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's it's a wonderful thing. You guys have been doing it for a long time. Y'all been grinding. Like, like I know, I know you know, y'all don't want to hear like, oh, y'all legends and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all still here. You know, a lot of people, uh, the other day I heard someone say, you know, when you know when you say a lifetime achievement is when I'm done, not while now, I'm still now, that, doing this shit. You know what I'm this day and time, you can't even look at it like that because like y'all pioneers, y'all pioneers are half of this shit. Like, yeah, but you know what, what I'm saying? saying? You, you can't even look at it like that because you could be here today and going tomorrow. Yeah, we'll that's talk, why we we'll made talk. the joint roses. So yeah. we learned to to appreciate that. You but y'all, 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 they can still smell them shit. Whether you also put a you also put a glitch in the system, though, brother, because unfortunately, God, you that's know, only if God you forbid allow something was to happen, happen to one of That's only if you allow that glitch, right? The music will live forever, though. Exactly. Yes. You know? So but we protected by the most high, man, and, yeah. and what he gave us, no man can put us on. Yeah, 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 you know yeah exactly, I mean? exactly. It, 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 like, they, like, like, no, like, like they say, no one can say, when, once you get to what y'all already did in y'all lifetime, no one can take none of that shit from you right, ever. Right. They it's can't say you situation. ain't. They can't say. They can't say you didn't reach your dreams. Yeah. They can't say you didn't. Y'all ain't live out half, half the shit that motherfuckers just dream literally dream mm -hmm. about. You know what I'm saying? Well, so they they'll never strip you of that. Yo, mm -hmm. you think Muhammad Ali wanted to be a better fighter? <laughs> Only when he lost, I'll tell you that much. I'm sure. <laughs> Only. I said it's one of the top Only. conspiracy theorists out there. So <laughs> oh, no, I know. Out with these joints, oh, I know. I don't say No, but you see, that's you know, beautiful, though, because see look that. Look at y'all, an interviewer, to see <laughs> how y'all face me. Like. <laughs> no, it's. It's, it's beautiful, though, because, see, for a person like myself who's now, I, I've only been doing radio really on, going on two years now. Mm -hmm. You know, I've over, I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm sort of like. My nigga Sean P. I'm the one with the character. Yeah. I'm the one that's always animated. It was always like that. Like I, I put up a throwback picture today on the gram of me being silly. It was oh, like I always wanted to be that kid in front of the camera doing this shit. But interviewing artists that have been interviewed, you know what I'm saying, that interact with this show, 
and talk like your, your questions, your beautiful questions. Conspiracy theory or not is 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 wonderful for me because it's all a learning experience. Cause some artists, you know, they sit in here and they like, I got I gotta say everything. You know what I'm saying for them to react. That's you know what I'm saying. Artists call this music their baby, man. It's yeah. Because you you learn hands on in the field. You don't know before you have a child. You might watch over your niece or nephew. But exactly. They can go home. They can go home. So you have your own. Mm -hmm. You in the field in the trenches. You learn yeah. hands on. So this this is what it's been for us. Till this day, it's still been in the, in the trenches. That's why it's Tim's all season. Man, for us. Tim's all season. Man, man fast kicking races, bitches. I think that niggas see, man. Listen, I get upset because half of these motherfuckers out here don't know the realness of this music that we was we was brought up on. You know what I'm saying? The fact that yeah, some of the music was had certain things in a negative light, but it was real shit. You know, just like when the message came out, mm -hmm. they was talking about what was happening there. It wasn't necessarily as vivid or as real as our era of nah, music they, they, gave they, it. It was vivid and It real was vivid for them. them. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? For that 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 era. You know what it, I'm it saying? It was vivid so, for us also. Of course. Because you know Y'all knew what they what was I, talking about. Exactly. That's what our moms and pops may have been mm -hmm. going through and, you know, being Babies of that era, yeah. we we were still able to see that and add that into our music. Yeah. So when we come from that lane and able to relate to that and put it in our music, that's that's why we paint the perfect picture of it. You yeah. know what I mean? I, absolutely. And add on to that, like you know, I don't know about about every everybody, but like you know, me, I was always fascinated with black exploitation movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? All that music always just encompassed what was going on in the neighborhoods. Yeah. Like when you took when you think about Curtis Mayfield mm -hmm. and when he took my little child running wild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we 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 see that yeah. every day, but then we see somebody sing about that. It just makes us feel it. It doesn't make us feel so heavy. And like me growing up in the projects in Seflo, I mm -hmm. I just think I had it like bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I realized like, wow, this is pretty dope. Growing in the projects, yeah. you got all these different families that yeah. you, you families with. Yeah. You go outside, you see son, you son is from this building, son is yeah. from this building. I mean, it, you got the ugly part of it too. Yeah, of course. But that's life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's but, life. you know, the, but 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 hip hop, what we do, we get to look at that and then put it to music. So now you can press play and be like, word. Yeah. I'm with my L nigga trooper down the landing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, but me, yeah, but it's exactly. me that the yeah, tempo yeah. stomp. As the L gets spark, play the shadows in the streets, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I had it up the head with y'all weekend, man. Spark town, yeah. home of the original gun cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you you walking through the hood, like you wow, yeah. like wow, I, I was just on Atlantic Avenue the other day. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's crazy? How far we come, like I was just watching well, I just say something on the ground, he say they introducing Joe Buck and they got Bucktown playing in the back of it. Yeah. So <laughs> look how far yeah. and how many doors Word. hip hop can Yeah, open. exactly. Like, how, how exactly. Exactly. So exactly. That's what I'm saying. You thought it was just a fad for two, three, five years. Yeah, now yeah. we're here 20 mm -hmm. years 20, later. 40 years you know strong. I mean? and, and that music is being opened up in the Barclays centers for the for for the big homie, one of the biggest shows he putting on yeah. in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. He's playing our music in yeah. them centers before he comes out. Before he come out. It may not be full to capacity so yeah, yeah. all the ages can hear it, but bet those Texas is coming back. Oh y'all coming out, y'all yeah. doing this, yeah, hey, yeah. I hear it. So, you know, it's it's a beautiful thing because the doors keep revolving and you as long as you hear as an artist, you just gotta keep your sword sharp and stay putting out new joints. That's why again, born and raised born and something raised. It's something new, it's something new, yeah, it's something new, right it's a dope concept, you know what I'm saying, the fact that it's an EP makes it even more, like, more in, like, intimate with you as, you know, as a, as an artist, like, you know, like, people love their little small, comfy, little cubby holes, so this is like one of those, like, you'll get it, you'll listen to it, you vibe to it, and, and and when it's done, you're like, yo, I gotta play this shit again, right, right. And you, you know, know what I'm saying? And you know who the artist is, you know yeah. who it is. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely dope, man. Like, it ain't like you on a blind date with somebody. You gotta get <laughs> exactly, with all, exactly, you know exactly, I mean? exactly. Like, and the thing is, though, y'all still stayed on y'all vibe, even though it was a little, a, it was a little different. 
a little more up to date, but it was still y'all vibe. It, it was one concentrated thing. We stuck to a concentrated thing. Like you're not, you're not, really, you're not used to hearing Tech is still do a conceptual album. Like yeah. our albums basically encompass everything that's going yeah. on within a cipher, any cipher in your hood and my hood and in the corporate world. Like all of that is in there. And if you listen to Born and Raised, that's in there too. But then we just give you a cultural version. Like we really, yeah. we really just dig into a specific type of music. You know, it's like it's like when you think about Bob Marley. Bob Marley come from one of the most worst spots in in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, you know what true. I mean? Like, true. but listen to listen to the type of music that he makes. Yeah, look at the respect that he gets. Yeah, yeah, Like exactly. it's from the people, it's yeah. of the people, and it's by the people. So that that for the people, and it's for, for the people, people. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what Born and Raised is, man. And like, if you an artist and you like that, I mean, we where we at. From day one, yeah, like we, yeah. where we at, we invest our right now, yo. Yeah. Right now, we invest style. Yeah. Like, so if, you, if you're watching this across seas, you get to see how we do it yeah. here. This is the best style house right here. You yeah. know what I mean? This is we a here. brownstone right here in best style. We, we step Pulling two, step three, step. We're gonna be outside of the curb right there. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we from the street. So we talk about what's here. Like, it's, Niggas it's got a lot a of stoop. different things. <laughs> Niggas got a stoop. Niggas got to stand. The stoop played a very important role. Now, but but but. A lot of, and, 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 the porch, not the, the stoop. No, not the, not the, the porch. The stoop. The porch, the stoop. The stoop. It's a different thing, man. It, 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 it's, it's part of this blend. Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me tell you this too. Let me tell you. Now I play mad stoop ball in, in Brownsville projects too. <laughs> let me tell you something. Stoop ball off the wall, all that, sh all that. I mean, but on some, on some realness, like we need this right here. This, this, this platform. This is why actual Bob, do you think that we was commercial? Yeah. Uh, was that song commercial at that point? Because. What we doing now is what we, for, to us, is what we did then. We created a lane for ourselves. Exactly. Tech and Steel wasn't given no lane. We of had no, no big homies over us saying, yo, look, little nigga, do it yeah, like do this. Like go this. over here. I'm going to patch you in with some patching with that. We kicked down doors. We broke down gates. We Everything. made relationships. We mm -hmm. made people respect us. We wasn't on no bravado shit. We just came through. Like, when you listen to uh, Let's Get It On, like, not... Not trying to go out like the rest to be the best, just mm -hmm. get roughness off my chest, nothing, yeah. less. nothing less. Get it on, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like we representing for the kind of the underdog, the yeah. the, the Joe Public type cat that's yeah. not having that 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 no for an answer. So that mentality, which which comes from the soldier mentality, which comes from that DCEP family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? None definitely. of us really been to the military. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's definitely. the street man. That's that yeah. street military. Big yeah. up to all my cons out there. Yeah, you know, shout out to my homie, the man. He told me to shout him out. I had I got to shout out the Rico cons, man. Rico you know cons, word up. son told me to shout him out, so I had to shout Hell him out. Man, you already you know, know what I'm saying. Salute, a one. You know what I'm saying, but it, it's just. At the end of the day, though, fellas, man, y'all have come so far. Y'all have seen so much. Y'all have built an it entire empire. Alone. You know what I'm saying? We're but y'all still got go. that fire to still, you know, carry on all and, and, and do this. Time, you know man. what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Yes, sir. So salute to that because, you know, everybody talks about other people's legacy. And all y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. the other the other day I was informed that I think the, uh, is it this year or next year that the, shot, uh, the first album makes it 20 years? Next year. It's next, next year? year, 2015. 2015, yeah. 1995, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's 20 that, years for the single. Yeah, year. the single, exactly. March. And, right. and, and, and what's crazy is that, you know, this music, this catalog that you guys have built for that, for that time, as long as there's a fucking record, some type of thing that can play music, mm -hmm. Y'all niggas is gonna be on the rest of the, on this earth for the rest of the for the rest of the. Thank you, brother. For the end, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for that, man. You know Thank what I'm you, saying? Because at the, it's it's not. Remember, we live in a day and age of microwave shit. Mm -hmm. You know, five years ago, you asked who was hot. They're not hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Five years ago, they was crazy. They wasn't gonna be stopped. Now, them niggas, you where, where them them niggas at? Right. See. Right. Your body of work will still live on fifty years from now. That's a catalog. Thanks. Artists Thanks. don't got that. Y'all got y'all got classic. You see, listen, y'all got classic albums. Mm. Y'all got classics. Half these motherfuckers don't even know what that is. Wow. You know what? So that the, when, when it comes you, to music, the, what we grew up on, the the the, the James Brown, you the got a Sam lot. Cook. You got a big job to do, brother. Oh man, I I I'm I'm I'm, I'm I think I'm up for it though. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's I think a, I'm up for perfect, it though, son. It's a perfect room for this for this. I mean, it's a perfect title for this show, man. The War Room. Yeah, man. man. Yeah. Well, usually it's more the war room because I'll be on here just ranting and raving, talking a bunch of shit. Splat Fuck, you know, let niggas know. Totally produced by Beatnik, K Salon. You can catch those videos on YouTube. 
And we right here. Make sure you hit iTunes.